today is going to, we're going to make our own Olympic medals. So I don't know if you can see my shiny medal. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the medals. I know that you've probably seen them and you might know that they come in gold, silver, and bronze. But these represent the top three winners of each Olympic event. Gold is for first, silver is second, and bronze is for third. But did you know that the gold medal is actually mostly made of silver? The gold medal is then plated with a little bit of pure gold. Today, we're gonna make our own medals. And each year, I actually didn't know this, each year, the design on the medal changes. Um, our medals today are gonna be a star to remind us, just like the torch of God's bright love for us. But um, it's kind of a neat thing if you and an adult can pull up uh, the different medals across the years, because um, every, every country who hosts the Olympics gets to choose their own design of what's gonna be on the medal. So today, what you need We've actually been collecting lids for a little while. So like Van has a salsa jar lid. Abe has a pickle jar lid. And I have a tzatziki chicken. And Gigi has a lid from <laughs> a cucumber dip from Trader Joe's. Um, so just get any size lid. It doesn't matter what size. And then um, parents, this might be something for you. If you have any of those foam stickers um, that are in the shape of a star, use those. If not, this is just cardboard. And I sent along a little star template in case you needed help um, getting that shape traced. But um, you can just cut out a size of a star out of cardboard, out of an old Amazon box or something like that that you have handy. And um, what you're going to do is glue the star onto your lid. So On the back? Or the front? Jeannie, I'll give you that for yours. And then Van and Abe, I can actually put a little bit of Oh, wait, on the back? Um, no, sorry, on the top of the lid. Like on the top of the lid, glue whatever shape um, sticker you want to use or your star. Just like that, Jeannie. Do you think? Okay. Mine smells like salsa, so. Mine smells like cucumbers. Mine smells like cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then what you're going to do is take a little bit of tin foil. <laughs> you don't need this much tin foil. I'm just telling you that you, you don't need, need one sheet. I just need two. No, that's too much. Oh. Okay, so then you wrap your metal with the tin foil. So you want the star to be on top. So place your tin foil on top and then just wrap it around. Do you need to see how? Put it on top. And then tuck all the extra tin foil around the back like that, and you can just smush it in. Oh, the cage is crusty. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Around. That's great. 
Um, Abe, you can go ahead and start putting glue on yours. Around this part. And so then what I want you to do is get some ribbon. It doesn't have to be red, white, and blue. I just happen to have this one. But um, you're going to make sure, uh, parents, you might want to measure to see it go. Um, make sure it goes around their neck pretty long. So like Jeannie, that's how we do it. Probably go like around. Sorry. Sit back, Jessica. Okay. Okay. Now, just shake a little bit of glitter on it. Just a tiny bit. So then parents, you can just glue on the ribbon to the back of their little tinfoil star. Mm -hmm. And then look at it. Can you do it? Um, and then grab a little, make sure it's on top of the paper. And then get put up in the